Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Casey. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the products that I received in my Makeup Geek Mystery Grab Bag. If you are watching this video, I can only assume that you are just as obsessed with makeup as I am. I love all of the makeups, but eyeshadow has a special place in my heart, so I'm so excited for this grab bag since the majority of the products will be eyeshadows. So I'm going to show you everything that I got in its package, and then I will unpack everything, put it into a palette, and swatch it all for you. In addition to the grab bag, I did pick up one additional item, which I'll share with you at the very end. Of course, I'm super excited about the grab bag, but that extra item that I got is so cool and is still available, and and is probably my favorite of the entire order. <laughs> Guys, I received my package from Makeup Geek last night and I could not resist opening to see what was inside, so I apologize for that, but I am still just as excited to go through everything and share it all with you now. My understanding is it's their March Mystery Madness, so I'm on the Makeup Geek website right now and the $10 grab bag is still available. I don't know if that means it's going to run all the way through March or if it's while supplies last. If the $10 round grab bag is of interest to you, I highly recommend getting on the website ASAP and ordering one before it's too late. One of my favorite YouTubers, Hey Jess, had purchased a mystery grab bag and had created a video on it and I could not resist so I had to get on there and order one myself and I'm so, so happy that I did. My understanding was that I was only going to get 10 round pen eyeshadows but when I opened up the box it was plump full with more than just the 10 eyeshadows. So I received two empty palettes which are magnetic. I also received a blush and a bronzer. I have not tried a Makeup Geek cheek product, so I'm so excited for these. And then the eyeshadows. I did count that I only received nine eyeshadows, so I'm wondering if maybe the, the nine eyeshadows and then maybe these count as another. I'm not really quite sure. So let's put all of these into a magnetic pan and then I will swatch them all for you and then I will let you be on your way to go order your own mystery grab bag. All right, so I put everything into an empty Coastal Scents magnetic palette just for the time being so I can swatch everything for you. So first up, this is supposed to be a blush. This is the shade Desire. This definitely looks like it's gonna be far too deep for my complexion. However, I don't always believe in using makeup for its intended use. Oh, look at that. I definitely see myself using this as an eyeshadow. I love burgundy colors like this. I think they're so pretty. The burgundy smoky eye is so, so cool. So even though I'm definitely not gonna be able to get by with that as a blush, I'm absolutely gonna use it as an eyeshadow. And this is the bronzer in the shade Half Hearted. It does say warm medium on here. Again, this one also looks like it's gonna be too deep for my complexion. But if it's anything like the blush here. Oh yes, oh yes, I love it. It looks like a, a beautiful staple brown matte, something that I will definitely get use out of. All right, the first eyeshadow, Pink of Me. Okay, that's definitely not as vibrant as it appears in pan. I was a little bit intimidated. Oh, I really like it. It's a beautiful baby pearly pink. That Shade Summer Lovin'. That one is also not quite as vibrant as it appears in the pan. Again, I was kind of intimidated by that one. I thought it would be more of like a hot coral color, but this is really, really pretty. I love these type of shades, especially on blue eyes. I use these types of colors a lot in my crease just to add a little bit of dimension to looks. It just really makes blue eyes pop no matter what color you have on your lid. So a lot of times when I finish a look and it's just missing just a little bit of something, I'll pop a color like this, just dust a little bit in my crease, and it just does something to take it to the next level. So I'm really, really excited about this. This is that cool steely gray color in the shade Tinsel Tone. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I am seeing some brown tones in there. It's almost like a really cool metal taupe shade. I love it. Spirited. This looks like a typical bronze. That one was really creamy. That was probably the easiest one to swatch so far. Oh, beautiful. I love it. I've tried Makeup Geek eyeshadows in the past and I find that the shadows are they are very pigmented, but they're the type that 
can be built up. So you can do one swipe with your brush, a couple swipes with your brush to get some color, but you can also build them up. And I really do appreciate eyeshadow formulas that are like that. This one looks interesting. That one also looks like a steely gray. Or like a grayed purple. It almost looks a little bit like a duochrome. Like in some lights I'm seeing like a reddish brown. But then when the light shifts, I'm seeing that like grayed purple. That is really, really interesting. I don't have anything like that in my makeup collection. So that's, I love it. I have to say blue is probably my least favorite eyeshadow color to wear. You know, it's a bit bold for me. So I wasn't very excited to see that I got a blue, but that's really, really cool. It's like a, it's like a gray blue. And again, I don't think I have anything like this in my eyeshadow collection, but it's, I like that it's very subtle. Like I can just do a quick swipe and it looks like a really pretty gray blue. I really do like that actually. That's really pretty. I like that it's not like bam blue in your face. It's like a grayed blue. Next, this is the foiled shade. I've not tried a Makeup Geek foiled shadow. Looks like a yellow gold. True yellow gold fashion. This one also looks a little bit like a duochrome. I mean, it's it's a yellow gold, but in the shift of the light, I can almost see like an orange gold also. It's pretty cool. We have what looks like a satin ivory. This is the shade Rapunzel. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up because it is very light, very close to my skin tone, but it is a satin ivory, but I almost am picking up some peach undertones. That is so, so pretty. I mean, I know it's so basic, so neutral. Definitely not very exciting, but that might almost be my favorite <laughs> shade of them all. Just because it does, I mean, it is a neutral shade. It looks like one that I'm gonna get a lot of use out of. That is so pretty. I love like champagne shades that have that peach undertone. I think again, it's so flattering on someone with blue eyes. And I sometimes find that like satin ivory shades can be a bit harsh. So I appreciate that peach undertone kind of tones down that harshness and makes it a little bit more subtle and delicate on the eyelid. I love that shade. Last but not least, this appears to be a matte ivory shade in the shade So Pale. I relate to that and I relate to that very much right now. <laughs> Again, this one is you know probably the most boring of the bunch, but I'm still so excited. I, I use you know matte ivory shades like this every day that I do my makeup, so I'm not disappointed at all. And I do appreciate again in typical makeup geek eyeshadow fashion, that one swatch is very light, but it looks like it can be built up. I love that. I love it. So all in all, I have to say, honestly, I think my favorites are the two cheek products. Even though I'm not going to be able to use them on my cheeks, I think they're going to make for beautiful eyeshadows. I love how beautiful and brilliant the color payoff is. I love it. Also this coral shade, I'm going to get a lot of use out of that this summer. This prom night shade is so cool. Again, I don't think I have anything like that in my collection, so that is going to be so much fun. I love everything. Lastly, I just wanted to show you this pigment that I purchased in addition to the $10 grab bag. She did have some pigments on sale. I don't remember if this one was on sale. Anyway, this is the shade Kaleidoscope. It's actually a color that I've had my eye on. It's kind of been on my wish list in the back of my mind for a while and this was just a perfect opportunity to get it. I actually don't mind working with pigments. I've got a couple of them. I do use them often enough. So this shade is one of her duochrome pigments and it's supposed to be, I think like a bluish base, but then in the light it shifts to pink to purple. It is from afar, it looks like a, like a purplish gray. But then when the light shifts and you get a little bit closer, it shifts to this beautiful pinky purple, but that pink is so brilliant. I've got a couple of products in my makeup collection that are similar to this, but this one is so, so brilliant. Like that color shift is so strong. 
so cool and that pink isn't just like a baby pink it's almost like a a reddish pink i don't know how to describe it if you don't mind working with pigments and you are obsessed with duochromes i highly recommend this one this would even be cool with spring and summer coming up and wearing tank tops to mix a little bit of this into your body lotion and to put it across your shoulders your collarbone a little bit on your chest that would be really 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 cool that was everything in my makeup geek mystery round grab bag again like i said i believe this is running through march but it may also be while supplies last so if this piques your interest i highly recommend you get on the website right now and order a bag for yourself please let me know if you do i hope that you enjoyed this video i want to thank you so so much for your time today thank you for hanging out with me i hope that you hit that subscribe button so you can come back next time and until next time i hope you have the most wonderful day